the long awaited days here, the youngest president in Africa, President Faye, has been sworn in. Okay? A lot of expectations. Let's see how things go. But we hope he delivers. We we look forward to a president with a difference. We look forward to a better performance. As per being a, a young guy, young, fresh breed, we hope to see things take new turn, not just in Senegal, in Africa. Because if he does well, if he performs well, other countries will take, will follow suit. Other youths will also sit up. Other youths will stand firm and fight for what belongs to them and then make Africa great. A jailed opposition candidate, Basiro Diomaye Faye, was sworn in on Tuesday as Senegal's fifth and youngest ever president. The 44-year-old former tax inspector defeated Amadou Ba, the candidate of outgoing president Macky Sall's ruling coalition, by a landslide in the first round of voting. Je suis conscient que les résultats sortis des urnes exprime un profond désir de changement. I am aware that the results of the ballot box express a profound desire for systematic change. Through my election, the Senegalese people have committed themselves to building a fair Senegal, a prosperous Senegal, a progressing Africa. The new president has vowed to tackle corruption and introduce a series of economic reforms to prioritize national interests, including the renegotiation of oil, gas and mineral contracts with foreign operators. Le Senegal, sous mon magistère, sera un pays d'espérance. Under my leadership, Senegal will be a country of hope, a country at peace, with an independent justice system and a strengthened democracy. Democracy renforced. Avec une justice indépendante et une démocratie renforcée. This is my promise, based on the oath I have just taken before God and the nation in your presence. Devant Dieu et devant la nation en votre présence. Over a dozen heads of state and regional representatives attended the inauguration, including Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu, Ghana's President Nana Akufo Addo, and African Union Commission Chair Moussa Faki Mohamed. The military juntas of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger also sent representatives. The smooth transition is a welcome boost for the country. Three years of political turmoil in Senegal had raised concern about democratic backsliding in the Kupron region of West Africa, where juntas have seized power and cut ties with traditional Western allies in favor of Russia. Congratulations, Mr. President. Wishing you all the best as you, as you have just taken the oath of office. We hope to see you do well so that other youths wake up. Thank you very much for your time with me today. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my nest as I bring you away again more trending news.